your arms around me and whisper in my ear Hold me close and don't let me go Tell me anything, it doesn't matter what I just want to hear your voice Your hair, your smile, your kiss A million things I'd miss If I ever let you go I'd give up everything And love you endlessly My heart won't give me a choice No, I can't let you go this time My car now, we'll get up out of here. We'll find a place that we call ours. Straight past the city lights, goodbye to lonely nights, hello to happy hours. No, I can't let you go this time. Several years from now, we'll have a family And I'll love you more each day The sun will ask me how we live so happily My love for you is what I'll say No, I can't let you go this time I will do anything to make you mine and Yeah, so my name is Isaac Coleman. I am the host of the Powered by Rock podcast, owner of Powered by Rock, which is poweredbyrock.com. Um, and yeah, I've been playing music since I was 11 years old and writing songs since I was about 14 or 13. And uh, that's why I'm here at the Palapalooza podcast right now. <laughs> I basically started Powered by Rock in 2020 after a vision that I had from probably 2016. Um, but I was doing business consulting and really didn't want to do that anymore. So I decided... I want to start Power by Rock. I have a long-term vision of it. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, my whole goal is to basically grow rock music again to the point where it's actually listened by many, many people, help promote it, help shine a light on it, help, help basically help the artist, you know, get more visibility um, and also just help them with the gear. So like guitar cables and stuff like that. But I have a big, big vision for the company. The best concert that I've been to personally uh, was actually an OK Go concert. I want to say it was 2017, 2018, somewhere in there. They were doing a Hungry Ghost tour. Uh, it's their last album. Uh, I went with my wife, actually, and the, the band was completely rad. So they had a screen in front of them, and they're very much known for doing visual stuff while they're, you know, obviously singing and playing. But they uh, had a screen in front of them that was playing all sorts of stuff. Uh, they used the space of the entire stage, and then at one point, Damon or Damien, I can't remember if it's Damon or Damien. I think it's Damien actually. Their lead singer put it like a car, a crate, like a milk crate, right in the middle of the crowd. Grabbed his acoustic guitar and just started playing a song. And he was like right in front of us because we we're in the middle. And uh, just the way that they used every piece of the floor was was pretty cool. So for any aspiring musicians, don't be afraid to interact with your fans because that's the some of the most memorable stuff you can do. Yeah, so obviously I'm from Vegas, lived there for about 16 years now. Some of the best bands out there. 
I got to give a shout out to my boys, Mercy Music. They're fucking awesome. They've been on this podcast. If you haven't seen them, go check out that episode. Um, Jerk, another solid punk band. Uh, but outside the punk bands, there's a couple of bands that you definitely probably haven't heard of, like Montre. I definitely say go check them out. Pure Sport. And a teen sibling band called the Dollheads. They're all in their high school and middle middle school years. Uh, highly recommend them. They're actually very, very good. Um, and I don't care if they're a teen band, sibling band, whatever you want to call it. They make better music than most of your guys' favorite bands right now. So check them out. <laughs> Yeah, so the vision for Powered by Rock is to create a mini rock empire, essentially. Uh, everything from training videos on how to market your band, uh, everything else to like creating a live music venue, where my goal, and, and if any investors are watching and want to put money towards this idea, have a, have a franchise, about five or six in the United States, where you have a recording lounge and a bar that kind of serve as where they'd have live music in the bar, but also on the outside, like in a patio, they'd have an all ages area where you can play rock shows. And up above it, you'd actually have a, a suite for two rooms to have bands stay there while they're touring. So that would be called like the Powered by Rock Lounge uh, recording and, and the live music venue. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just everything. I mean, make the podcast bigger, make the blog big, bigger, uh, obviously get more employees to help write and, and produce some of this content. I'm um, getting some photographers now, which is cool, but uh, yeah, like pretty much just span, basically take Rolling Stone and Hard Rock Cafe and smash it together. And that's what I'm looking for with Power Go Rock. Mm-hmm.